Good evening, everyone. I am Gio Kelly from 3C, and I'm here to sell you a freezer. Now, there are many reasons why you should buy a freezer. One of them is that it is very energy efficient because the freezer uses less time, less time in creating energy. I'm sorry, in creating energy, but in making it colder, thus keeping your bear meat and your fishes fresh and well fresher rather than your normal refrigerator which would take a bit of a time to cool down and then get into the right temperature which you might need. Another one is that in case of the igloo inhabitants are scientists and let's say bio let's say geneticists and, and then the freezer can be very helpful since it could keep their samples and their examples in a more uh, safer, safer containment and environment since of its cooler temperature rather compared to the refrigerator. An example I would like to give, okay, we a very weird example I'm going to give, another Another reason is so very weird, I just thought of this. Another reason is that, in just in a very weird coincidence, let's say a man has a freezer with him, and then in a coincidence, he is accidentally in a nuclear explosion, accidentally, he gets inside the free, he gets inside the freezer, the nuclear bomb explodes, and he's still alive. And there's no radiation due to the thick walls which is inside the freezer and all of that stuff. And I have nothing else to say for the that. <laughs> Refrigerators are sanitary compartments with wide range, uh, with a uh, rather wide range of temperatures to choose from. The reason behind this is Alaska is is definitely cold. It can it is an, a, in an, an environment which is incredibly good for preserving foodstuffs. But it doesn't, that doesn't mean exactly that it's clean. You know? Refrigerators are used for uh, preserving food. The uh, main reason is not because the, just because it's cold inside, but rather the uh, bacteria cannot thrive as much inside a refrigerator because of the temperature inside rather than outside. Uh, as I said also that it has a wider range of temperature. You can actually control a uh, refrigerator's temperature from, from just cold to freezing. So it can actually be used also as a freezer. So you already have two uses right there, refrigerating and freezing. Uh, an example would be uh, of it is foodstuffs. You can mainly preserve your half-eaten dinner for a later time, or you know, or Alaskans probably they freeze their fish because you know, Alaskans living in an igloo they're probably isolated from civilization, and they probably fish for their food or hunt. They while they probably won't have to have to hunt or fish every day, they probably need to uh, keep their food, foodstuffs clean. Uh, um, they, their foodstuffs clean and sterile, so they can use the refrigerator for uh, preserving food that they've already cooked or uncooked foods in the freezer that is found in a fridge. For example, yes. And yes, well, that, that is all. Correct. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Big New Brothers. My name is Michael Mahula. I'm from Korea's. And I'm here to tell you why buy a freezer instead of a refrigerator. Number one, freezers save time in preserving foods, for example, in a, ref in a normal refrigerator. These, these fish or meat we store take time and certain bacteria can thrive at somewhat low temperatures above zero. For example, if your if 
if your refrigerator is above zero, is in a temperature above zero, certain bacteria like salmonella can still survive, but only their metabolism rate is slow. So it won't be considered much as a sanitary thing, but in freezers, the temperature can easily reach below zero. And it, it becoming, and since it freezes, it, uh, its temperature lowers faster, then it could save time for your, most of your precious fish, meat, or anything to be safe. Instead of having a refrigerator, which takes time, and, and in some cases, some foods in the re refrigerator rot, their shelf life is not as long as in a freezer because the shelf life of, of, for example, meat inside a refrigerator. The meat inside a refrigerator will only last about a few weeks, two, three weeks. Meanwhile, in a freezer, the meat would certainly last for about two, one, two months since it has a cooler temperature. It having cooler temperature, which gives um, more, um, less, the less chance of bacteria thriving on a certain surface. And another thing, if ever there are some power outages, uh, power outages the, the freezer can save more, more can save um, more energy also because it is more insulated from the outside. So it takes more time for the for more time for the freezer to become um, somewhat hotter because of the outer temperature rather than a refrigerator because it is more insulated and also. In some cases where um, a bear goes, goes too near your igloo, then you can just go in your freezer. It's more safe because, for example, if a bear, if said bear goes inside your igloo, and yeah, well, you're basically trapped in your igloo and you have nowhere else to go, rather than a refrigerator, because refrigerators can be opened easily because you can just open it from the sides. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, refrigerators also have a thinner, thinner walls, and in having thinner walls, it is less safe because, because the bears can easily claw through a refrigerator rather than a freezer since it is made, made most because time. Good evening, good morning, or good noon, whatever state of day you are listening to me right now. I'm Lorenzo Villar, I'm visiting the Ocarayan Yoro City. I'm talking to you, Alaskans, who live in Ingles today, to sell you a refrigerator. Guess what? Um, the fridge we have has, well, as you've probably seen in the advertisements or adverts of the freezer, they can, no, I, they can lessen the price of bacteria in the freezer because of the low temperatures. But we, the freezers, uh, most freezers and most I most fridges that most freezers do not have. I, sorry, sorry, pardon. I got it next. Most our most of our fridges have something that most freezers don't have, and that is anti -sanit -san antibacterial technology or sanitation technology, also referred to as sterilization technology. This actually enables the fridge to be bacteria proof, killing the bacteria, lessening the thriving of bacteria, then killing inside the said fridge with chemicals that are safe to your food, any kind of food, any kind of chemical, it's completely natural. It's more, um, I'm, but I'm here to sell you our fridge, our fridge, our fridge, our fridge, our fridge, our fridges. <coughs> most of our mod most models in fridges have these like in the Samsung in the Samsung line. We have these you might see in the advertisement, but you might not see it in the advertisement when you live in the by the way. But this can be an advantage, let's say. You just caught a fish from the river. The fish has, let's say, bacteria, worms, or even worse, salmonella, E. coli, and all this. Our freezer eventually can kill it, in a way. Yeah, and as you might have heard earlier, yeah. that freezers can help you from a nuclear bomb, but the chances of a nuclear bomb hitting Alaska would be really small. Alaska is one, uh, not really that densely populated. And why would somebody hit somewhere that doesn't have people? We're safe from most people. There is less than a And 
we don't have this in our fridges because we don't want our fridges to be lead lined because we simply care about your safety. Lead lining means you're putting lead inside the fridge and probably you may not know lead can poison you as most known as lead poison. This might be unwanted, I'm sure. You don't want to die because of your fridge or freezer. So that's why our fridges do not have lead. Although you can't and uh, fridges can help you in the market. Also, fridges also have compartments. These different compartments you can store eggs, you can store vegetables. These supplies that you can probably get from drop-offs from the American service to your state. These foods might not, uh, might be prolonged because the drop-offs drop-offs will be once in a week, once in a month, and time. Ooh, that's right. 